Welcome back, guys. Back in the Ozarks. We're gonna try to make something happen. Uh, we're gonna see what the deer's doing. There's still a little snow on the ground. I didn't know it got that much snow up here. Apparently it did, because it's already right at three o'clock. There's still snow. So that ought to be good. Maybe we can find some fresh sign before it all melts. I'm thinking the deer's gonna be up moving. Got some snow up here. Not a ton of snow, but right here on this mountain top right here. Still holding a little bit of snow on the trees. We're trying to find some sign and they ain't found a lot of sign. So we're gonna keep moving on until we do find some sign. Good deer. I didn't know this to the right. I mean, I bumped. 
All right, guys, it's the next day. I found him. Anyways, he's not a giant by no means, but he's good for the late season. It was January the 10th. Today's the 11th, anyways. But I'm gonna get to skinning him. All right, guys, I got him skinned, got him in the cooler. As you can see, hold on, look at that big old hoof right there. Big mammy jammy. The meat in the cooler. It was super, super hard to go ahead and skin him because his whole, his loins and everything was froze. Like my hands are just now thrown out. I just got out of the shower. But anyways, I got him in the cooler and got him all skinned up. <clears throat> I got to get everything cleaned up. I didn't actually have the initial shot on camera. I apologize for that. That's why I didn't have too much footage as soon as I got here. I, we got him here at dark. I had to gut him in the dark, actually get him hung. And then this morning, went ahead and got him cut up and skin out and coolered up. I am gonna make a video of it, but it's gonna be a, I'm gonna European the head on that. Like I was thinking about getting it mounted, but I probably would just go ahead and European the head. I got a one from early bow season. I know you know that video. Hopefully you've watched it. If you ain't, go check it out. All right, we got him in the back. We're gonna take him home and European him. He ain't bad, he's a good old buck. G2 is broke, bro. Right there. I've had him on game camera. I just ain't seen him all year. But he was way bigger before he got broke, but. It'll make a beautiful European mount. I'm going to head back tomorrow in the flatlands. And we're definitely going to put some Yodi sets out and use that homemade bait. All right, guys. It's been a couple days. But I just want to let you know, I apologize. I didn't get it on film. I had actually put everything back in my backpack. And uh, it was the last day. So I really wasn't even expecting to kill one. And uh, I looked back and here he came. I was just fixing to climb down. So I really didn't want to pass him being the last day and everything because a few of the deer already had their horns off and he still had his horns. So I really I really wanted him. Um, I know everything don't go as planned because I, I really wanted to get him on film too. But I really wanted my third deer for the freezer. That was a real goal for me and to feel the buck tag. After uh, I finally had found him, I only got my nephew. My nephew was actually there. So he helped me load him up on the wheeler, get him back. We didn't get much of that on film. And then the next day, like it was very, very cold up there. The next day, the water to the cabin was froze. So we had to thaw it out and everything. And I hurry up and get him skint. And he was actually froze. I mean, like when I mean froze, he was froze. So it was, it was quite a challenge to buy everything really, but it it did work out i got my third deer for the freezer i guess you learn from different different things whatever i don't and i definitely learned like it's definitely a challenge with the camera i will say that to anybody that's trying to film your own hunt that is definitely a challenge and i'm still gonna go after that go i still got a I, I did a couple of them skinning and all that so i didn't really think that was a big problem i got a few deer i was skinned on video if you ain't seen it go check it out but anyhow where i'm going with that is his I, I did get some new cameras too so i'm trying to get different angles i gotta get another camera mount for my tree um if you got any recommendations leave a comment down below because that would be really not nice. i'll try to use the one i have now i think it's a muddy uh yeah it's made by muddy and it's it's not horrible, but it's it's not great either because if I got it on my right side, I'm left-handed to try to get my bowl off the tree. And then usually, like I try to move it around with my right hand, but the one I have don't extend out as long enough. So if it comes on my left-hand side, which this ha had happened to me, when I'm trying to get the camera over, my body blocks the whole view, if that makes any sense. But if you have any suggestions of that, please leave a comment below. We're still gonna be doing a little bit of trapping. I got probably, I don't know, maybe 12 days left to trap. Uh, so maybe we'll catch a couple critters. Really thank you for watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. If you ain't already, go over and hit that bell and maybe you catch us on the next one.